Giga on the West, forcing Japan to censor anime and manga, which is a topic so relevant as we have news of Katakawa being acquired by Sony. Have you heard about the MasterCard and Visa censorship of anime and manga stuff? Yeah, but what? I That's the mold drama, right? That's the mold drama of them pulling payment processing plans for, you know, too many, uh, a degenerate series, right? And they're saying, censor your stuff, we're pulling out. Uh, I have not heard about MasterCard and Visa censoring anime. Oh yeah, basically the West, mainly America, is forcing Japan to censor anime and manga more. I don't know how much I believe that, honestly. Basically, Bro, all I hear is fucking him, him playing Dark Souls in the background. I can't hear his voice. Basically, MasterCard and Visa are not vibing with Japan's anime and manga industry, and they cut it off. Mm. Were they sponsors before? They forced the creator of Love Hina to shut down the manga doujin website because they forced the payments to shut down. Yep, that's the video we watched with Chibi Wright, where Love Hina, creator Love Hina, they were like kind of forced an ultimatum to like fundamentally change, you know, the fan service and all the different things that, you know, these Western companies want to censor or else, you know, MasterCard, Visa, you know, this different um, payment processing plans are just going to pull out of their base and the creators are just left dry with nothing. Oh, shit. Oh, this is Wukong, not Dark Souls? My bad, my bad. Places like DL sites don't allow Visa and MasterCard anymore. Is it anime and manga or is it adult content? Those are two uh, different things. Anime manga. Weeb stuff in general. Uh, depending on how much Japan cares about. Depending on if it's stuff like DL sites and adult sites and dojin sites. I don't know how big the industry is abroad compared to the domestic one. Dojin's basically region locked in Japan now. Ah, going back to the old days, huh? I mean, if corporations want to distance themselves from adult content, that's fair enough to the corporations. Yeah, but what if the corporation is acquiring Karakawa and they're going to be censoring the source material from the root, right? And obviously this video is not even talking about the acquisition rumors that's happening. I'm gonna be the first to say that Japan, especially the adult content, it has some, it has some weird stuff here, man. It has some weird stuff. That Absolutely, right? Like the type of fan service and the length of at which, you know, the degeneracy can be illustrated and, you know, pointed out and made into content. Let's not, let's not get it twisted. Absolutely, there's some mind boggling, crazy degenerate shit out there. But we're talking about the censorship and the precedence that it sets. And I am not surprised that uh, corporations don't want to be involved with. Look, if there's one thing I understand about Japan is that not only with adult stuff, you can find niches for anything. You can find okay. girls bars for anything. You can find themed bars, themed services. Yeah, you can find like a copy, like a capybara bar. You can find like a cat cafe, maid cafe, right? You can find so many different specific things there. Or anything in Japan. So I believe that Jap I believe that Japan will find a way. The world may sense the world may try to censor Japan, but Japan ain't gonna allow that. Japan will find a way, man. Ideologically, yeah, I think that the nature of humanity and us always adapting and surviving and overcoming struggles and challenges, even if there is such a big precedence of, you know, monopoly, censorship and stuff like that, you never know. Times like this may lead to innovation in the most bizarre ways. The example that I gave in the previous video was about how if a monopoly exists and they're kind of just dissuading any other comp competitor to enter the scene, how can we survive, right? Maybe it would work out in the video game industry where, you know, you got video game industries, you know, trying to pump out these fucking uh, woke games for the modern audience, but the audience doesn't even play it or buy it then you get Concord shuts down, but then you have like indie games popping up out of nowhere that people really want to play like Pal World and you know, that starts to do well. If there could be something like that happening for the anime industry, that would be very cool. And he's a different payment gateway. It's not that hard. Well, even my Japanese card isn't even Visa or MasterCard. My, my card is JCB, which I'd never heard of before, even before I moved to Japan. Visa and MasterCard are that premium shit here in Japan. But okay. um, I think there's always going to be a space for the weirder shit in Japan, even if it's something that's not promoted. Yeah, it'll probably be at like a lower scale. Visa, MasterCard, stuff like that, obviously is able to reach like a wider audience beyond just Japanese payment processing systems. Or spread officially internationally. Yeah, but if you're still in the UK, you would still be using either MasterCard or Visa, right? Yeah. Visa and MasterCard control 90% of all global payments outside of China. China uses their own. Damn. Um, yeah, I know. If Visa and MasterCard have pulled out of Pixiv, that is obviously a big blow. I'm not trying yeah. to downplay that. What I was trying to say is that It'll still survive. 
to a smaller scale, people will find a way for their degeneracy to survive. People will find a way to goon, man. <laughs> people find a way. <laughs> you can't stop the will of man. What else? That is true. The will of mankind and their desire for Coomer content will over always overcome corporate greed. What I was trying to say wasn't that uh, Western companies weren't trying to censor, especially the outcomes in the world coming out of Japan. What I was saying is, damn, Japan, Japan is going to find a way. It's no doubt to blow. Japan be finding a way, man. What you find in the world is that if there is a need for it, if there is a demand, then the supply will find its way somehow, one way or another. I wonder what his thoughts will be on the whole Karakawa to, you know, Sony acquisition stuff because that is a pretty relatively new news and it's still rumors and nothing has actually happened yet but uh stay tuned for that kind of stuff please check out mr sleep eclipse channel here's a link i'll see you next time